let's take a look at the smoke particle. Okay, if you look at this rocket, if I hit play, I can see that, hey, it's cool. It's moving um, in this cool path, but it really is lacking something if it doesn't have a smoke coming out from it. So the way that I'm going to do that is, is quite simple. I'm going to go to make sure that I'm in the effects menu set. I'll go to particles and I'm going to go to cloud for my particle type. And I'm going to simply hit create emitter. Now I'm going to put this emitter near the back of the rocket ship like this. And now I'm going to shift select the rocket and press P as in parent. Now that should come along for the ride. So if I hit play, hey, there we go. Okay, that's a cool start, but I'm gonna just stop this um, and then I'm gonna select on these particles. And then in the attribute editor, let's take a look at, you know, kind of some things that we can adjust here. For one, I might adjust particle size and I might make that bigger. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's cool. Um, another thing that's kind of weird about that is that the particles stay um, there the whole time. Okay, I want them to kind of fade out over time. So what I might do is lifespan instead of live forever. Maybe I'll say constant and I'll try one second. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, cool. So now they're living for one second. Looking better, but it still doesn't really look that natural. Okay, so I think what I'll do is if I come down here to shading, let's see what that looks like. Okay, so if I once again hit play. Now, the shading, uh, you can see that this is opacity scale. And if I tear this off by clicking on this button here, I get kind of a zoomed up version of this. And what I can do is I can move these, um, this up and down. And you can see that when it's all the way at the bottom, it's fully invisible. All the way up the top, it's completely visible. But I can, I can put another mark on there and I can kind of go like this. So I could say when it's born, when it's born, when it starts, it's completely visible. And then it eventually gets to be invisible. And you can see how I can kind of tweak that like that. I can kind of figure out how much visibility I want. Okay. Or if I wanted to go something crazy, like make it invisible in the middle of its life. And I could even add another one. You can see here where it, now it starts visible, then it becomes invisible, and then it becomes visible again. Okay. Now that doesn't make much sense for what we have. So I'm just going to click on these X's here and bring this one down like that. There we go. Something more like that makes more sense. And then as far as the um, color of it, by default, it starts off white and then it goes to this kind of this blue. So maybe what I'll do is have it um, maybe go to a gray. So if I select that, I can go here, kind of a darker, dustier gray. And then maybe right at the start, I want to add some more color, like right in here. I'm just, I just click to add a new color swatch and I might add yellow and maybe even red. Okay. Hey, that looks cool. looks like fire coming out there. And you can see, I can kind of figure out where I want that position. Maybe I want red first and then yellow. Okay. And I can see that maybe I want that to get kind of super dark like that. Um, I don't know, you, you start to see that you get a lot of control on that. Hey, that looks cool. And maybe I want it to feel like the, um, the smoke is kind of dissipating and getting bigger as it, as it lives longer. So I think at that, I'll go back up to the size and um, let's see. I think I'll go to radius scale. Should I leave that down? Um, 
I'm just kind of like looking through here and kind of seeing what I want to do. Okay, um, so there I could bring up the radius really big. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Okay, but if I come down here, um, once again, that kind of the opacity scale, or I could go, let's see. So once again, you can see all these different widgets throughout here. I'm just kind of, once again, looking through and just kind of seeing if um, what I want to do here. I think I'm going to bring that radius back down. You can see that it kind of screws up a little bit, but you might have to rewind. There we go. Now it works. Awesome. Um, Yeah, looking really good here. So really kind of a neat way to get some um, kind of a, some cool looking smoke that just kind of follows the rocket wherever it goes. And you can see here that if I go to show NURBS curve, there's a path for this rocket. And if I go to right click on the path and go to control vertex, if I move this, okay, um, this path, and um, you know no matter how I move the path the rocket will follow the path and no matter how the rocket goes the smoke will follow okay very cool so um, and then if you don't want anybody to see that I can just go to show I can turn off NURBS curves and now we have our rocket. Awesome. So very, very cool with the particles. Very powerful system. And I hope that kind of sparked your interest and in kind of get in there and play with those particles and see what kind of effects and, and techniques that you can create.